Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Fleximan54 bringing you to view of my updated version of the Jackknife Dragon deck. Um, basically, it's going to focus more on the Gold Ritter, and basically, it's going to be more of a turbo deck. It's a deck of only 50 cards, and basically, I'm just trying to get Gold Ritter out as fast as I can, and basically, be able to stall my opponent as much as I can. But this is good deck is going to change based off the meta with the Purgatory Knights and everything, I may convert them to them because I love Purgatory Knights actually. Based on reading their effects, I love all the Purgatory Knights basically. So I may go with them over Jackknife, but we'll see because in the episode 55 I think we're on right now, he's go Jackknife's going to be in Drumbucker Dragon's deck. So basically, uh, hopefully, they can try to figure out how to way to play the deck. So you know, let's do this. My deck, my bunny monster obviously is going to be Jackknife Dragon. You're going to play four copies of him in the main in the main board because basically when this card's called to the cent called to the called to the field um you can use the effect to basically pay two cage and get any of the jack knight evolutions you have in the main deck onto him and basically use their effects so basically you play him and you basically use a toolbox of all the monsters in your main deck that's why i love playing jack knight because you can just be versatile of what you want to play on the main field and you don't have to choose between one and the other, but you still have to choose based on what you're playing against your opponent or what you want to play. Such so like one prime, you can play the dispersal, bystand, it depends on what situation you are. So you don't have to play one particular monster. Next for the monsters, we are playing four of the Jackknife aggressor, uh, Berserkers. Basically, he is he's a vanilla version of him, only he's just a weaker version in defensive. It's just for another Jackknife monster. And the last of the, the non-Jackknife Volusia monsters we're playing are the Jackknife um, 10,000s. Basically, I love playing Jackknife 10,000 only because it gives me an extra monster to play. He has 10,000 power, 3 critical, and penetrate if you play him, in the, play him on the field and your opponent attacks you with the monster in the center or has a monster in the center. You attack with this guy, attack the center, and does 3 damage to directly. And also, it's a jackknife monster. I hopefully for the next set we get another jackknife monster to so to play this guy, because this cost is pretty hefty for two gauge for just one monster. But for a jackknife monster, for now it's an all right monster. For the jackknife gold Ritter, we are playing three of them, only because gold Ritter is an okay card. But the thing is, I don't like just relying on him on defenses all the time. That's why I'm considering playing a different deck because gold Ritter is okay. But the thing is. Although the monsters you have in your main board are going to become useless, which is why I only reduce down to like 10 monster, main monsters because I don't want to play any other monsters really in this deck. Um, basically, you only play 3 because you don't want to get too cloggy in the deck. And also, you um, want to make sure you don't put them in the gauge by accident with the Dragon Charge or the um, um, Jacket of Burn, Burn Energy. Or the blue dragon shields, and also gives you an extra option to actually find one from the drop zone for jackknife gift or jackknife gift to the, from the deck to the hand. Next, for the evolutions, we are playing three jackknife thunderstorms. Out of all the jackknives, this is probably the best jackknife evolution of all time, my opinion, because you just pay to get two life to actually destroy a monster on the opponent's side of the field and has soul guard. My opinion, destruction towards opponent's monsters, especially the, the decks that rely on link attacks or rely on other monsters that use their ability like the Purgatory Knights or rely on link attacks, like I said, Dungeon World, um, basically rely on their monsters on the field. So basically for this format that's coming up because of the release of BT05, Break to the Future, I believe that 3 is the optimal number that you want to play for the um, Jackknife monsters of the three of the thunderstorms you want to play for the jacked up monsters because you want to optimize the amount of destruction you have on your opponent's side of the field just so you can actually you know keep up with them and get your life points down low enough to get the jackknife gold ridder this is supposed to be a turbo deck that's why i like playing three of them next to the evolutions we are playing three of the jackknife burn energies put this card has no call cast it cannot be called at the center but you just have to put the top one on the jackknife monster. Basically, when you do that, it becomes a dragon charge. So basically, it's a walking, um, walking gauge filler. So you don't have to worry about you know using your your jackknife dragon's effect next turn if this card gets destroyed or get removed. 
Next, we are only playing one of each of these evolutions. We are playing one of the Jackknife Saviors, one of the Jackknife aggress um, Aggressor, yes, and one Jackknife Bystand. Just one of each because I really want to minimize the monsters I have in the main board because when you have gold rare in the field, like I said, they become useless. So you want to rely mostly on your spell cards and say, and um, defensive spell cards as well to keep your deck moving and everything. Basically, the savior is in here just to give me an extra protection from monsters. Um, basically, I don't really mind losing life points. But if I'm getting really low and I play Jackknife Dragon, I can always call this guy to the field on top of him so I can have move and soul guard at the same time. Bystands in here if I get um, one of the um, Dragon Shields in the graveyard first turn or very late game and I want to get like blue Dragon Shield or green Dragon Shield back and I really needed it. He already has a call out to two, so basically if I have Jackknife Dragon on the field, call use his chaos to call him to them. It basically should be the same thing. But I really like him because he's a defensive choice. I wouldn't play more than one in this deck particularly because it becomes really cloggy. And plus his call cost is 2 gauge instead of 1 like the other evolution. So it's a little bit high from my opinion for a turbo deck. The aggressor is in here because he's an 8,000 power, 4 critical, and 6,000 defense. If I'm reading correct? No, 5,000 defense. And basically he just he has a really, really, really big attack points for a 1 gauge monster. I mean, it's really, really high, and plus I, I need the 4 critical just in case I can't go to it right away. This card is my second way out to gain heavy damage to my opponent very quickly. Alright, that's all the monsters that I'm playing. I'm not really playing that many. I'm playing like playing 21 monsters, I think. The rest are spells. The first set of spells, we are playing 4 of the Jackknife Gifts. Basically, you pay one gauge, and you have a jackknife monster on the field. Put one jackknife card into the soul of that monster, and get a gold raider. Or if you want, if you have a gold raider on the field, you gain three life and draw one card. This is really, really the main card you play in the deck to get the um, gold raider faster and to get more life points when you're down low enough to play gold raider. Next, we are playing four of the jackknife um, Braveheart. This is basically the main searcher of your deck besides the Jackknife Dragon itself because this card gets you anything you want in a deck that says Jackknife in the name of the card. It doesn't matter if it's a spell card or a monster card. This gets you what you want whenever you want. A lot of times I would play this card, get the, um, the Jackknife Gold Rare if I already have Jackknife Gift in my hand. And just play that so I have the Jackknife Gift in my hand for the 3 life gainer. Basically, this card is really good to keep your hand steady, to keep monsters extra for the playable effect. If I really, really, really need a Jackknife Dragon or a Jackknife Aggressor to get my combo going, this is what I would need. And the last time, I think I played only like three, but I need four for this turbo deck to get him out of the field. Next, for the defensive spell cards, we are playing three of the Jack, uh, four of the Jackknife Green Dragon Shields. Only because Jackknife Green Dragon Shield, I mean, the the dra dragon, green, dragon gold, green dragon shield, sorry, is really good for gaining life points when you're down too low or to keep prevent your opponent from depleting your life points very quickly. Um, the jackknife, um, the blue dragon shield, sorry, I'm really used to saying jackknife very much, um, gets you the extra gauge you can get for liar cards that pay one gauge to play. And protects your life points as well. It's probably the best dragon shield we have right now. Um, next for the defensive spell cards, we are playing four of the. Oops, let me get rid of this card. Four of the Drago energies, and then two of the uh, Rafa dragons. Basically, Drago energy is pretty much the best card in the deck right now because it lets you get the um, the counter attack you need plus an extra three thousand power against opponents attack that does link attack against your monster, or if you want to, to be very defensive, you can just play the Wrath of Dragons to give it an extra 6,000 boost to the Gold Raider or any Dragonite monster you want to protect them, so you don't have to lose them by, lose them at all. Basically, these cards are very defensive. I like playing the 4-2 combo myself. Some people don't even like to play in the 4-2, really. Some people like to play the 4-1, but I like to play in the 4-2 just in case um, I need to defend more of my Jackknife Evolutions or my Gold Raider. And last of the dragon shields, we are playing white one with the white dragon shield, just so 
that I don't lose life points when the Cold Warrior is on the field. Next, we have the two, two Dragonic Grimoires. Just for draw power to make the deck a little bit more faster. If I get a really cloggy hand and I'm down to five life points already without any monsters in the field, this card's usually my out, out to all that. But if I don't need to use those or don't draw them and I need to draw cards, I usually play one Buddy Help. Buddy Help is basically with all the gauge you're charging, it's really, really good in this deck. Basically, you just play three gauge and just draw two cards. It's really a simple card. That's really it. That's all you do. Just play three gauge and just draw two cards. It is a hefty cost, but for this deck, you need some extra more draw power. I personally, I play this more than I play the Dragon and Grim War against other people. I, pl I play it just for fun. But, you know, sometimes it's just the way it is, the luck of the draw. The last of the spells, we are playing two of the Dragon and Charge. Just for some extra charge of the gauge. It does get cloggy, it does get useless at the, towards the end, but it's an extra card that can get more turbo speed when it comes to paying gauge and stuff like that. Well, that is my Jackknife deck, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Basically, this card's a 50 card deck. I played against a couple of people at my locals just for fun, and basically, it does, does actually pretty well, actually, because it's, it's a really fast, speedy deck. It's only a deck of 50 cards. It's really, really consistent. And there's only like one or two games I draw really bad hands. So if you guys want to try this deck out, go ahead and try it out. I mean, I don't mind people net decking or anything. Because right now, Buddy Fight doesn't really have a really strict deck of what you should be playing. A lot of times people have to be more creative with their deck building, stuff like that. So this is my creative deck building. So if you guys want to copy it or want to make a deck based off of this, go right ahead. I would not mind. So this is FlexiMan504 signing out to you guys and hope to see you soon. And yes, I have not been making videos because I've just been working too much and work comes first before anything else. And plus it's tax season, so basically I had to work a little bit harder just to get extra pay. And plus I'm paying a lot more of my taxes towards my insurances and stuff. So yeah, no time to play really. <laughs> so this is FlexiMan signing off to you guys and peace out y'all.